is up, fam? I hope this message finds you all well and in good spirits. Well, it's out. The new fascia and reveal of the 2019 Camaro has come out. And I know everyone, at least on the places I am at, Instagram and Facebook, are saying that they hate it with a passion. It looks just like Bumblebee from the Transformer movie. Even that it looks just like the uh, Chevy Silverado. One of the biggest things that people are confused about or like why is having the Chevy bow tie on the, the bumper there, which seems odd. It's very much funny how it's akin to the 2018 Mustang, which is what I have. When it came out, how people were like laughing and making fun of it. And now it's loved uh, for the most part. It's one of those things, these new design themes and designers, The what I'm seeing when I went to the New York International and Detroit show and even talking to the Ford designer of this 2018 Mustang, you know, the art and design and all that new kind of uh, edge uh, look, it actually looks better and more appealing when you're in person. Times, I meet people about the 2018 Mustang and say, wow, it looks way better in person than it does uh, in pictures, even in video. So you have to kind of give it a chance. If you may or may not know, I just recently uh, test drove and compared this 2018 Mustang to a 2016 uh, Camaro and I came away not that excited. This has me excited. Number one is because it's going to have the 10 speed automatic in the Camaro SS that also is shared with Ford that I have in this 2018 Mustang GT. Yeah, the proof's really in the pudding because I basically gapped a, that Camaro with this 20, with this 10 speed because it's just the the 10 speed does that does make that much of a difference. I'm also excited about the horsepower bump. I'm curious if if Camaro's going to actually have a 500 horsepower number from the factory. Let's talk about the styling. What I what I like and what I don't like. I really am a big fan of. The headlights, I think those are really cool looking. They look very futuristic. It reminds me of the Tron movie for some reason. I just really like the, the I think it's gonna look killer when it's at night and the lights are on behind you. The profile is the same. I'm not too much of a fan of the rear lights. It reminds me of like a Cobalt and a, a C5 Corvette uh, put together. And it just, it just kind of doesn't sit well with me. Uh, interior looks like it stayed the same mostly. Uh, one of the things that when I drove the 2016 Camaro was that it felt very cramped inside. Obviously, this is just a refresh, so I'm sure there's some extra goodies that they add, that they put in there to make it look uh, a lot more, you know, pleasing with options and whatnot. The other thing that I'm really excited about besides this um, Camaro uh, coming out 2019, besides the 10 speed, but besides the hor horsepower bump, I'm anxious to see. Um, what the new 2018 Mustang GT does against the 2019 Mustang, uh, the 2019 Camaro SS with a 10 speed, just to see, you know, how they match up, quarter mile, zero to 60, all that kind of good stuff. I think it's gonna grow on people, and of course, aftermarket is great. There's already been some awesome renderings on Instagram, which I thought were just, you know, home runs as well, and I'll throw up those pics uh, for you. But I really think that we have to give this a chance. I have to see this in person. I'm, I'm putting it in the same category as the 2018 Mustang. It's gonna get crapped on. Even the even the hardcore Chevy guys are saying, uh-uh. So we'll see what happens. I thought it was a weird release. I saw it on like CBS in the morning, like the news clip. I'm like, there was like three people around the car. I'm like, why is it being released like this? It seems very, not cool. I I could be wrong. Maybe got released in a bigger way, but that's how I saw it. That's how I found out about it. And um, you know, I kind of look at a different angle. Some angles look. It looks really like nice, like the overhead angle. I think the hood looks good. It looks chiseled. It looks mean. Um, I think that we have to see it in person. Um, so you know, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you uh, completely think that they you know screwed everything up or you think that you're excited to see what they do. Again, my angle is I'm excited to find out the horsepower numbers. It's getting a 10 speed. I wanna um, you know, test drive that, put that up against this car. Once again, uh, if you haven't checked out the, the review uh, or the comparison of my Mustang and the older, now older sixth generation Camaro, 
check that out. I'll put that card up and also I'll have another video out of when we had some fun just doing some roll races and, uh, you know, the Camaro got gaptized. All right, y'all, you know it never ends. Peace.